Welcome to the FACE CTS Learning Series, Chapter 2, Environment Setup and Installation on CentOS 7 and Windows 10. Video 5, Prerequisite Setup on Windows 10. In this video, we will download, install, and configure prerequisites for the installation of the CTS, launch of the CTS, and testing of FACE UOCs within the CTS. We are using Windows 10 as our operating system, running on a VirtualBox VM in this video. If Windows 10 is not the installation operating system of choice, results and directions may vary. Using VMware, another virtual container, or installing the CTS natively on Windows will work as well, but will not be covered in this video. We downloaded a Windows 10 ISO file from the official Microsoft Media Creation Tool and installed it onto our virtual machine. To successfully install the CTS, the required prerequisites include Python 2.7 with Zlib and Setup Tools support, Java 1.8 JDK, and a PDF viewer. To successfully test UOCs within the CTS, there are dependencies for each language the UOC candidate is written in. In this video, we will show how to install each of these dependencies. The dependencies for each language requires MSYS 2.0 to be installed. MSYS is a software distribution package and building platform for Windows, intended to provide a POSIX compatibility layer that Windows distributions do not provide by default. It provides a bash shell and the ability to build native Windows applications using the MinGW-W64 toolchains. The following packages within MSYS2 are required to test C, C++, and Ada UOCs. The packages are shown. For UOCs written in Java, Java JDK 1.8, AMP 1.9 or higher, and Qt 5.2.1 are required. It is suggested that any browser be installed if installing the JDK, as you must accept a license agreement from Oracle. Note, if you are only testing UOCs written in a particular language, for example, C++, you only need to install prerequisites for that language. In the C++ example, you would only need to install the prerequisites that are shown on screen to successfully test UOCs. Throughout this video, we will track the status of prerequisite installation and configuration within the checklists. A check mark denotes a completed installation and configuration, and a yellow dot denotes the installation and configuration is currently in progress. Let's first download and install Java 8. You may download Java from the shown URL. We will be downloading the Java 8 JDK for Windows 64, but you must download the JDK version that suits your operating system. After download, run the executable with the default options. After successfully installing, it is necessary to add the installation of Java to the Windows 10 environment path variable. By selecting the Windows 10 search and typing environment, you will be able to select edit the system environment variables and further select environment variables. To enable Java for the current logged in Windows 10 user only, the following instructions may be mirrored in the user variables section at the top of the window. We will be showing how to install Java on your entire system, which is at the bottom of the window. Create a new system environment variable by setting the variable name 
to JDK8 underscore home and the variable value to the folder where you have installed Java. The default Java installation location in Windows 10 is located at C, Program Files, Java. Create another system environment variable with the variable name Java underscore home and value percent JDK8 underscore home percent. You must add the Java underscore home system environment variable to the system path. Double click on the path variable and select new. Doing so will add another path entry at the bottom of the path environment variable list. Enter percent Java underscore home percent as the addition to the path and press enter when complete. Add another entry to the path by selecting new, but this time add percent Java underscore home percent backslash bin. Move both of these new path environment variables to the top of the path environment variable list. The installation of Java is now complete. Close out of the environment variable windows and any command prompts that you may have open. Then open a new command prompt and execute Java dash version to confirm that you have configured your installation of Java 8 correctly. To install Python 2.7, it is recommended to download the Python 2.7 installer from the URL that is shown. Run the installer with all of the default options selected. It is optional to have the Python 2.7 installer create the Python 2.7 environment variable for you. We will be doing this manually in the forthcoming steps. After successful install of Python 2.7, open the System Path Environment Variable window again and add the path where you installed Python 2.7. By default, the installation of Python 2.7 on Windows 10 is at C Python 2.7. Also, add C Python 2.7 script to the path variable. To download msys2, you may download it from msys2.org. If you were using a 32-bit Windows 10 architecture, download the msys2-i686 executable. If you were using a 64-bit Windows 10 architecture, download the msys-x86-64 executable. In this video, we will be installing the msys-x86-64 executable. After downloading, run the executable. Install msys2 to C msys64, which is the path the CTS looks for when executed. After installing, open an msys2 terminal by searching in Windows 10 for msys. The application should be at the top of the start menu. In the msys2 terminal, update the package database and core system packages by executing pacman dash capital S lowercase y u. Sometimes the package database and core system packages require a restart of the msys2 terminal. If needed, close the terminal 
relaunch the terminal, and re-execute pacman-syu. To install the language prerequisites for C, C++, and Ada, you may enter the command shown to install all prerequisites at once. You will be prompted to select a configuration for the packages that Pacman was asked to install. Select Default, Install All, and confirm with Y. Then, open C msys64 msys2 underscore shell dot cmd in a text editor and uncomment the line that sets the msys2 path type to inherit as shown. In the same way environment variables were added to the path for Java and Python 2.7, you must also add msys2 to the Windows 10 path. The required folders to include in the path variable are shown. These environment variables must be near the top of the path list, but they cannot be higher than Python 2.7. This is because msys includes a version of Python 3 by default. If msys is higher than the Python 2.7 path variable, the default Python version when the CTS calls Python in its threads will be Python 3, which is not supported at the time of recording. msys2 has now been successfully installed, and you may close all non-msys2 related windows. To install ant, first download ant from ant.apache.org slash bin download dot cgi. You must download Apache Ant version 1.9.0 or above at the time of recording this video. We will be downloading Apache Ant version 1.9.9. .9. Extract the downloaded file to the C program files directory and add the extracted folder to your path environment variable. Finally, to install Qt 5.2.1, you may download the Windows executable from the shown URL. Download Qt open source dash windows dash x86 dash msvc 2010 dash 5.2.1.exe. Follow the prompts and select all default settings to successfully install Qt. This concludes the installation of prerequisites for the Face Conformance Test Suite version 3.1.0 on Windows 10. In Chapter 6, we will discuss Environment Setup and CTS Graphical User Interface, or GUI, launch on Windows 10.